Hey there, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about custom intent audiences inside of Google AdWords. If this is the first time you're watching a video, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and I'll be walking you through the entire process. So, custom intent audiences are a new feature that Google put out in 2018 that are absolutely incredible. One of the really powerful features in Google AdWords is what are called in market audiences. So, Google has the ability to see people's average everyday online behaviors. So it can figure out what you search for, what YouTube videos you're watching, what sites you're reading, and it creates what are called affinity audiences, which are buckets based on your typical behavior. In market is whenever you're breaking that typical behavior. So you go look for something new. So for instance, if I'm a sports fan, let's say on an everyday basis, I'm looking at sports stuff. If I go start looking at cars, Google can see that I have atypical behavior that I'm now in the market for cars. So really powerful information that helps advertisers reach people when they're looking for whatever it is they're selling. Really amazing stuff. The only trouble with in-market audiences, however, is that they've got, Google has pre-built buckets. So if someone's in the market for mortgages, that bucket is there. But if you have a product that's not a, a one of the pre-built buckets for Google, in the past you haven't been able to use them. This changes that. You now have the ability to create your own custom, what they call intent audiences, so you can find the people who are looking for whatever it is you sell. Now, the one caveat with these custom intent audiences, right now they only work with display campaigns. They're not on YouTube yet, but I think that's gonna change soon. So how does this make your life better? Well, it's a new way to target your audiences. So in the past, with GDN campaigns, you've had uh, keyword placement, topics, and then tr traditional uh, affinity and in-market audiences. But now this is a new fit in there between topics and affinity and in-market that allows you to go through and customize who it is you're going after and what it is they're looking for. Uh, and the other piece of this is that you really have the ability rather than focus on the content they're consuming. So keywords and placements limit your scale. They're very qualified, but they limit your scale because there's only so many pieces of content with those keywords or you know the individual placements. What's great about in-market or custom intent audiences is the fact that you can you don't have to care about what content your ad is serving on. You just want to focus on the person behind the device. So you know that they're in the market for a new bungee rope. That's awesome. It doesn't matter if you're serving next to bungee rope content or you know if you, if they're watching a YouTube video about cooking. As long as you're targeting the right people, that's what really matters. It also this this is what we call so that ability to target the person and not the content is what we call run of network campaigns, which means that you could have more scale. So that's why this is really awesome. So what do you need in order to create these custom intent audiences? Well, you need Google AdWords account and you need a list of sites or keywords that qualify, you know, really what the person is looking for. So the one thing I want to make a caveat here, if you know that people that are in the market for whatever your uh, product or service is, look at particular Facebook or YouTube channel pages. Rather than posting the Facebook or YouTube channel inside of the tool, you want to click on the blog or website that's associated with it and use that. If you use the Facebook or YouTube page, you're actually going to be pulling all the data from Facebook and YouTube, which have collectively over 3 billion users. That's not very helpful. You want to focus on the right people. So, you know, really make sure that you're figuring out the, the unique website of that particular channel or page rather than using their Facebook or YouTube presence. So steps of the process. You're gonna go into AdWords, create a new campaign, choose targeting under intent, and then create a custom audience. So let's head over to AdWords and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are in our example AdWords account. You're gonna come in, you're gonna create a new campaign. I'm gonna do a display campaign, no goal, click continue. And what we're gonna do is come down here to our audiences. So you can see that you've got affinity, intent, and remarketing, we wanna use intent. And so underneath here, you've got custom aud intent audiences. These are auto-created, so there's no data in this account. If there is data, Google will go through and build these for you. Then you have your existing list, which we don't have any yet. You've got your in-market audiences, which are all, these are the predetermined buckets down here below. Now, if you click on the, the YouTube card in the upper right-hand corner, I'm gonna link to two videos. One that'll show you how to qualify in-market audiences uh, from your existing AdWords data and then figure out in-market audiences from your existing Google Analytics data. So go through and check those two out. Those will help you continue to build better targeting audiences. But right now we're focused on the custom intent. So this is the one that we want, new custom intent audience. So let's just say people are in the market for Facebook courses. That's something that a lot of people are doing right now. So keywords and URLs. Well, Facebook advertising, Facebook ads course, Facebook courses, you know, advertising courses, 
etc. Those are keywords we can use. And then for websites, we could use you know sites like ours, AdSkills.com. And the really thing we want to do, you know, Google's going to come through here and populate these and give us ideas of other things that we might uh, go through and, and consider. So social marketing training courses, we could add that. Um, advertisement ads, online marketing training course, those types of things. Come in and add them. I always recommend including at least 15 to 20 uh, in order to go through and give Google a very good idea of what it is that we're looking for so it can build what we call a good seed audience. So that's kind of the best practices. Now, the one thing I'll tell you, this is a very new feature. What I'm going to go through and start playing with are different level, what I call top of funnel, middle funnel, bottom funnel keywords. So I want to go through and say, you know, how does a small business advertise on Facebook? That's top of funnel. Then you've got middle of funnel. So uh, best courses for Facebook advertising. That's kind of number two where it's a little bit more qualified. And then finally at the bottom of funnel, you've got, um, you know, really in-depth things like how to install a Facebook pixel for ads or things like that. You kind of go through and you do your, your keyword research and figure out those different levels. And that's how I'm going to go through and try with my display ads to figure out, you know, where's the money at for us? Where can we get in with people? And is Google's targeting good enough to help us reach these people and really qualify the stage that they're at? So that's kind of my process to go through and test these out. I'm super excited about these. Once, what I would recommend is going through and building between three and five of them, separating them into their own campaigns. You've got three separate ad groups that each test the individual custom affinity or that each test their own custom intent audience and figure out if you're going to produce results for your business. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, love this. this. is an awesome new feature. I highly recommend checking it out. I think this can produce some big results for a lot of companies. So if you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about how to effectively advertise on Google, make sure to check out our Google Ads pathway. It includes our Bulletproof YouTube ads, Bulletproof AdWords ads, and Bulletproof GDN ads courses. And honestly, it's the culmination of my experience when I worked at Google, my time with clients afterwards, and Justin's experience with clients is all wrapped into one. If you want to be successful advertising on Google, this is the number one resource that will help you do it. And if you like free stuff, don't forget to check out the Ad Skills Quarterly Giveaway. The link is in the description. If you like free stuff like Amazon gift cards, Barnes & Noble gift cards, Xbox, PlayStation, and even Bose headphones, make sure to check it out. We give away stuff every quarter, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, little things like that. So don't forget to head over there and enter yourself for a chance to win. Thanks so much and have an awesome day.